welcome dear friends today we are going to learn about the gastro retentive drug delivery system so oral route of drug administration is the most convenient and commonly used method of drug delivery however this route it has got several limitations like unpredictable gastric emptying rate transit time absorption window for the drugs um, for drugs which get absorbed in the in the upper git only so these are the various limitations um, now the drugs which get only absorbed in the upper git uh, due to the transit time they move down towards the intestine and hence uh, the absorption is incomplete so this is a these are the different limitations which the orally administered drug it has to face so there was a need to formulate the drug delivery system which will stay in the stomach for a long and predictable time so the drug so that the drug will be delivered in a therapeutically effective range for a longer time and hence dosing frequency will be lowered so drug will be delivered in controlled and reproducible manner prolonged gastric retention it improves the bioavailability it reduces drug waste uh, also it is useful for drugs which act locally in the git and also it act for the drugs which are poorly soluble and unstable in the intestinal fluids the dosage forms that can be retained in the stomach are called as gastro retentive drug delivery system it is denoted as grdds after oral administration such a drug delivery it would be retained in the stomach and the, and it will release the drug in the controlled manner so that the drug could be supplied continuously to its absorption site in the git prolonging the gastric retention of the drug is sometimes desirable for achieving therapeutic benefits of the drug that are absorbed from the proximal part of the git that is the gastrointestinal tract or those are less soluble in or are degraded by the alkaline ph or they encounter at the lower git lower part of the git grdds or the gastro retentive system uh, hence improves bioavailability it reduces the drug wastage also uh, it locally delivers the drug to the stomach and intestine it improves the drug solubility therapeutic efficiency is also increased and there is a reduction of the dose so gastro retentive drug delivery systems it, uh, it can be said to be as a novel drug delivery system which has an upper hand owing to its ability of prolonged retaining ability in the stomach and thereby it increases the gastric residence time of the drug and hence it also helps to improve the bioavailability of the drug a recent approach to increase the gastric residence time of the drug delivery system includes bioadhesive systems floating systems which are usually low density systems also it includes non floating systems which is high density system magnetic systems are also included swelling systems unfoldable and expandable systems raft forming systems and super porous systems these are the different approaches which are uh, used to manufacture a or to produce a gastro retentive formulation and the last type is the biodegradable hydrogel system now let us first see the physiology of the git the gastrointestinal tract it can be divided into three main regions stomach small intestine which includes the duodenum jejunum and ileum and large intestine the git is a continuous muscular tube extending from the mouth to the anus and it func functions to take in the nutrients and eliminate the waste by such physiological processes as secretion motility digestion absorption and excretion now the stomach as you can see in the uh, diagram it is a j shaped enlargement of the git and it can be divided into four anatomical regions it includes this 
um, this region is the cardia, this is the fundus, this is the body, and this is the antrum. The main function of the stomach is to store and mix the food with gastric secretions before emptying its load, which is also called as chyme, through the pyloric sphincter and into the small intestine at a controlled rate suitable for digestion and absorption. The wall of the GIT from outside to inside, it consists of serosa, longitudinal muscle, intermuscular plane, circular muscle, submucosa, muscularis mucosa, lamina propria, and epithelium. The gastric emptying, it occurs during fasting as well as in the fed state. The pattern of motility is different in these two states. So during the fasting state, an interdigestive series of electrical event take place and uh, the, it cycles through both stomach and intestine after every two to three hours. This is called as interdigestive myeloelectric cycle or migrating my myeloelectric cycle, which is also denoted as MMC. And this MMC is divided into four phases. The phase one is the basal phase. Phase two is the pre-burst phase. Phase three is the burst phase. And the last is the fa phase four. It is intermediate phase between phase one and phase three. So the phase one, it is a quiescent period and it lasts for 30 to 60 minutes with no contractions. Then come phase two. It consists of intermittent contractions that increase gradually in intensity as the phase will progress and it lasts for 20 to 40 minutes. The gastric discharge of the fluid and very small particles, they begins uh, later in this phase. Then phase three is a short period phase and here intense distal and proximal gastric contractions are uh, observed. There occurs four to five contractions per minute and this phase lasts for about 10 to 20 minutes. These contractions, they're also known as housekeeper wave and this way the gastric contains down into the small intestine. Last is the phase four. This is a very short transitory period of about zero to five minutes and the contraction it dissipated uh, dissipate between the last part of phase three and quiescence of phase one. After the ingestion of a mixed meal, the pattern of contraction, it changes from fasted to that of the fed state. So the fed state contraction, it comprises of continuous contractions, which occur in phase two of the fasted state. So these contractions, they result in reducing the size of the food particles to less than one mm which are propelled towards the pylorus in the suspension form. So during the fed state, onset of MMC is delayed, resulting in slowdown of gastric emptying rate. Now let us see the advantages of gastroretentive system. There is increase in bioavailability and curative efficiency of the drugs and economic usage of the dosage. There is minimized factor of risk in the resistance in antibiotics owing to stabilized therapeutic levels over prolonged periods, removing the fluctuations. Then there is optimized release in case of short half-life drugs, which causes flip-flop pharmacokinetics and also ensure patient compliance with reduced dosage frequency. Next, uh, these dosage forms, they are advantageous against drawbacks of the gastric retention time as well as gastric re emptying time. The system remains buoyant on the gastric fluid because of lower bulk density than the gastric fluids. These are efficient in repairing the stomach and small intestine related problems. It's attributed to the fact that gastroretentive drug delivery sustains the drug release and hence avail local therapy in this organs. This method provides with a systematic and controlled drug delivery system, which minimizes the chances of drug overexposure at the diseased site. 
providing a narrow curative index the gastro retentive dosage forms minimizes variance in the concentrations of the drug and effects so this systems provide higher efficiency due to reduced counter activity by body as the system provides with controlled rate of fluctuation a wider array is provided for selectivity in receptor activation the system has got some disadvantages as well we will see those one by one so first disadvantage is there is need the need for increased level of fluids in the stomach for a bian system the fluid level it, it has to be high it is unsuitable for drugs such as pro, uh, drugs which have a uh, problematic solubility in the gi fluid or the drugs which cause gi irritation or which are inefficient in acidic environment such drugs cannot be formulated in the form of gastro retentive dosage forms drugs intended for selective release in the colon uh, they cannot be effectively given in the form of gastro retentive forms also there is unpredictable adherence owing to the state of constant renewal of mucus wall of the stomach gastro retentive dosage form uh, is fed into the system after the meal as time of stay in the stomach it depends on the digestive state the ability of the drug to remain in the stomach it depends upon the subject being positioned upright the hydrogel based swelling system takes longer time to swell and hence there might be a chance it that it will get expelled uh into the intestine uh, before it gets completely swollen upon multiple administrations size increasing drug delivery systems they pose the threat to life owing to possible hazards of permanent retention in the stomach which is very dangerous also the super porous systems they have the drawback like uh, problematical storage of uh, easily hydrolyzable biodegradable polymers so this was a short introduction to gastro retentive dosage forms thank you for watching